Boys and girls, please write your first name, last name, and date at the bottom of your Scholastic News. Earth Day is April 22nd. Seaweed to the rescue. Seaweed is slimy, stretchy, gooey, and wet. It can make you look like a sea monster. And it just might help us get yucky trash out of our oceans? Hmm, make sure your first name, last name, and date is on the bottom of your Scholastic News. A slimy sea saver. As you read, think about why Julia's bags are better than plastic. Julia Marsh has always been interested in the ocean. When she was a little girl, she lived close to the beach. She loved to play in tide pools and look for hermit crabs. She would play jump rope with kelp, a type of long stringy seaweed. When she grew up, she started to think about seaweed in a new way. She wondered, could people use it to help clean up the ocean? An ocean of garbage. A lot of trash ends up in our oceans, and a lot of it's plastic, a lot of it, it is plastic, like plastic bags and wrappers. Plastic takes a very long time to break down. It stays in the ocean for many years. Animals can eat it by accident and get sick. Julia wanted <clears throat> to come up with something that could replace all those plastic bags going into the ocean. Could her old friend seaweed help? Making a seaweed bag. Julia started a company called Sway. Scientists learned how to turn seaweed into a material like plastic. Then, oh sorry, they turn gooey wet seaweed into thin clear sheets just like plastic. Julia's company uses the sheets to make bags and wrappers. The seaweed wrappers work great. They look just like plastic, but they don't act like plastic. The seaweed wrappers break down naturally. It takes about two months for them to break down into healthy soil like a fruit peel. That means fewer plastic bags in the ocean that makes animals sick. Seaweed might just help solve one of our ocean's biggest problems. What do you think? Would you ever eat food that came in a seaweed wrapper? By Blair Rainsford. Super seaweed. Seaweed is good for the planet in other ways too. One, animals and people can eat it. Two, as it grows. It cleans the water. Three, it makes a nice home for ocean animals. Julia Marsh pulls seaweed out of the ocean. It will be a bag soon. What would you put in this seaweed bag? This candy bag is made of seaweed. Sea turtles love to eat seaweed. Huh. Dance break! <laughs> Yeah.
Trash in the ocean is a big problem. This chart shows how long it takes different kinds of trash to break down in the ocean. We have the kind of trash and the amount of time. First up, plastic bag, 1 to 20 years. Soda can, 200 years. An apple core, 2 months. A plastic bottle, 450 years. A seaweed bag, oh, there's a blank. So we need to fill in the chart with what we learned about the seaweed bag. So go back into your Scholastic News, find where it talks about the plastic bag and how long it takes to break down, and put that number of months or years or days on this line. Number two, how long does it take a plastic bag to break down in the ocean? So go up to the chart, find plastic bag, and how much time is that? Two months, one to 20 years, or 450 years? Question three, which of these takes the longest to break down? A soda can, a seaweed bag, or a plastic bottle? Out of these three choices, which one is the longest amount of time to break down? Soda can, seaweed bag, or a plastic bottle? Question four, which two take the same amount of time to break down? The soda can and plastic bag, the apple core and a seaweed bag, or the plastic bottle and an apple core? Which two take the same amount of time? Imagine you put a soda can and a plastic bottle in a seaweed bag. You drop it in the ocean. You come back 25 years later. Which ones will still be in the ocean? So you put a soda can, a plastic bottle, and a seaweed bag into the ocean and come back 25 years later. What would be left? The soda can, the plastic bottle, or the seaweed bag? Now, boys and girls, for the next page, we're doing a text feature hunt. You need to use your Scholastic News to help you answer the questions. So we need to find the headline. It's big and bold. It's the title of the article. So what's the headline at the top of this article? So we need to go into our Scholastic News and find the big and bold title and write that headline down. And we use a full sentence. The headline of the article is, the subheading is the title of a small part of the article. What is the subheading for the part of the article that tells you how a plastic breaks down? So again, we're looking for a subheading I see two. One is about how plastic breaks down. Write that subheading here. Three, a caption gives you information about an image. Look at the caption on the top of page two. What does it tell you about the picture? Here's page two. 
At the top of page two, oh, there's a picture. What does the caption tell you? And last, we have the bold word is darker than other words to show that it's important. What are three bold words in this article? So we are talking not about these words or these words. We're talking about ones that are darker than these regular words, and we're writing them on the line. Yeah. 